Alright guys, today we'll bring you lifestyle. It's something that's happening down here in Melbourne. It's a fusion with music, fashion, local international sounds and labels. Everything from a young up and coming designer through to some of the most prestigious um, labels from stores like Siberia. So let's go check it out. I'm uh, Daniel Batari from Siberia Clothing Store in Chapel Street and from Lifestyle and um, you're watching Speaker TV. We just sat down with my partner Tal, we were having a chat one day and we sort of came up with this concept and, and it grew, you know. So the main objective here is to get a group of good retailers, you know, say 50 people together under the one roof and just, you know, join forces and clear stock. Pretty much mainly international now, we're still doing a few local labels. That's what we do, you know, we've always done the international labels and go to Europe and, and the States a few times a year and buy up. It's about, you know, us going there and hunting down some good good labels like female is Diane von Furstenberg strong and uh, Herve Leger and um, men's you know we're selling D squared really well and there's some higher end labels and then you know we, we find a lot of I guess that sort of mid to high end international labels as well which no one knows they don't really have a great name, but it's it's a really good product. Yeah, local look, you know, we've got to do State of Georgia for women's and Life with Bird, and they both sell well. Um, then our men's, we sell Flux really well. That does good for us. I'm hopelessly falling with no we thought of this sort of about a year and a half ago, and I've been working on it until then, and then I guess the economic downturns happened. Uh, it definitely, you notice it, you know, we're on Chapel Street. You've noticed it's it's dropped off a lot. So uh, in terms of street traffic around at the moment, it's it's a little bit quiet. Future Entertainment, who are a partner as well in Lifestyle, who are, you know, one of the best in the business and what they do. And, and you know, they had the music contacts and, and got Spencer Parker on to play last night and some good local DJs. How does it feel being the darlings of such a cool new event? Um, I don't know if we're the darlings at all, but it's been incredibly successful for us. And um, I think we went into this not knowing exactly how it was going to be. We've never done this kind of event in Melbourne before, and it's blown us away. We're really happy. We're a local brand, yeah. We um, we sell internationally, but we are Melbourne born and bred. I definitely think we've got a pretty cult little following in Melbourne, you know, in particular. It's a label that you can dress up from day to night. We want to give it to you know women that know how you know appreciate fashion we like um, to call it high casual yeah there you go. High casual. that sums it up yeah yeah very easy high a casual. lot of function designed through function yeah it's gonna look good but wear the way that you're feeling sway so we both design. We probably go off and, and do our, you know, fill up a million sketchbooks, come together and put it all together. And then um, I studied fashion design, so I look after the product a lot more. And Bridget looks after press and styling. And we sort of come from different backgrounds, but it's sort of my design technical side and her styling photographic side that she worked on that sort of makes it all work so well. The dollar being where it's at, being a bit weaker, it's actually easier for us to make locally which is great because having an Australian made product is really important. We got back from um, doing New York Fashion Week and we shot a campaign in Paris and we launched it there and that went really really well. It was really good. So um, yeah we're doing exciting things, we're happy, I mean we work bloody hard so you know it's paying off, it's nice. It's nice when you've worked hard and it's it's um, starting to become you know really rewarding and we're looking at different, you know, different ventures and things like that. So there's definitely our own store on the horizon, and um, you know, we're really doing incredible things in Japan and, and the U.S. at the moment. So we are at the stage where it's almost a well-oiled machine, and we can separate from the business slightly and go off and do separate things as well. Two of us have been in business together for about seven years and when we tried to come up with the name we um, spent a lot of time on you know a kitchen floor scribbling in notebooks and Bird is my nickname. Okay. How to so, tell a story. 
Life, his life with me, life with Bird. Yeah, my lucky life. Yeah, so that's. <laughs> so you guys partners in every true sense of the word. Pretty much. We're getting married in two months, so. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. This is Life with Bird on Speaker TV.